glam girls welcome back to my channel it's chelsea and today we are talking about my kayali fragrance collection how i'm ranking them and also my favorite combinations to wear with them so stay tuned for all of that thank you so much for spending some time with me today i truly do appreciate it if you are new i would love for you to click that subscribe button and join the glam girl squad because we'd love to have you and if you are a returning subscriber Thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with any type of support you choose to give me, whether it's watching my video, liking it, commenting down below, shopping through my links. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you and the support you do choose to give me because you don't have to give it to me and I'm very appreciative of it. So let's get right into this video. Just as an FYI, I always link all of the products that I'm talking about in the description box below and I would love for you to consider shopping through my links because it does help to support my channel and this addiction that I have here in the beauty space. I am a little late to the Kayali game in that I didn't start buying their fragrances until like a couple of years ago. However, we're here and we are very quickly becoming obsessed. The reason why I love their fragrances is because First off, they just smell so stinking good. And I feel like the brand does a great job of creating fragrances that are not scary in that the notes are not so unique that you have to have like a very particular type of nose to enjoy them. I feel like they're fragrances that the average person can enjoy, but also the fragrance enthusiast and the fragrance connoisseur could also enjoy and appreciate. They take challenges, like when they came out with their Oud collection, I ain't gonna hold you. I bought the Ouds, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. I had to depart from the Ouds. I ended up giving them away because it was just a bit too much for me. But I did appreciate how they were formulated. I just couldn't wear it. And I knew I was not an Oud person, but because Kayali always creates fragrances in a way where like you could get on board with it, I decided to give it a try. Outside of that, every other fragrance that I have smelled from the brand I have loved and like I already know that at some point in time I will own all of them so it's like we've got one two three four five we have seven here ask me at this time next year how many I will own and I will definitely own more so I just feel like it's one of those fragrances that very great to recommend to anybody because you're gonna find a fragrance that you like and more than likely you're gonna find more than just one that you like. I feel like the projection is great across the board. They last a good amount of time. Not necessarily all of them last the same amount of time, but like I never have to worry about buying one of their fragrances and it being a dud. Like, and that's just how I feel. So it's one of those fragrances that like if the brand is saying that they're launching a new fragrance, you best believe I'm like, let me go ahead and buy that because I'm probably gonna like it. So now that we said that, now it's time for me to rank them. So let me just go ahead and put these in order. All right, let's go. We're gonna go from seven to one. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, number one or number seven, coming in in seventh place is going to be Eden Juicy Apple. This one is going to have, oh, I don't have the notes memorized, but the prominent note is apple. This is going to be more of like a fruity floral type of fragrance. And I got this one because I feel like this is a great one to have for spring and summer because it has a really great, like juicy, fruity, fresh scent. It is gonna be great for like top of the morning, spring months and summer months especially if you love a good fruity floral it is airy it is a lightweight or i should say light smelling and it's really really beautiful i am not big on fruity florals but i can really enjoy this one and this is one that i would definitely like to mix with another type of fragrance preferably a floral fragrance for me to enjoy it even more so wearing it by itself she's cute i like her but i like her better mixed with a floral because I just like more floral fragrances or I like fragrances that have more of like a gourmand type of um, hint to them. This one I actually like to pair with sparkling lychee and that's honestly why I bought it because um, I forgot who recommended the combination. 
absolutely love both of these together. And like I enjoy Juicy Apple with Sparkling Lychee a whole lot more than Juicy Apple on its own. And like I said, Juicy Apple on its own, she can hold her own weight and she's a fruity based fragrance that I actually look forward to wearing. Um, but just coming in and at seventh place, because this is the one that I reach for the least and more times than not, I'm going to mix this with another fragrance versus wearing it by itself. My favorite combination is going to be these two together. Coming in at number six is going to be kind of ironically Vanilla 28. So I bought this, um, holiday last year it came in a set together so I have the travel size and it also came with the full size so that's why I have the travel size so vanilla 28 if you love vanilla you're gonna love this one this is actually what I'm wearing today and it's a very beautiful soft vanilla type of fragrance vanilla 28 is coming in at number six for me because by herself I kind of feel like she's a little underwhelming in the sense of like I want more vanilla from her and she's just a subtle vanilla. She's like, look, honey, I'm here, but I'm not going to smother you. I'm not going to take over the world. This would be one of those vanilla fragrances that I could wear on a plane because I don't think it's going to suffocate the person next to me. You know, depending on your work environment, I would say you could definitely wear it to work. You know, this is one of those fragrances that's safe, in my opinion, to wear in places where you don't want a bunch of projection um, and things like that. I just want her to be stronger and that's just not what she's going to give me. However, where she shines is you can mix this with anything and that's when she's like, see, I told you I was there. I just, you just didn't think I was there. You can mix her with anything and she's going to make whatever you're wearing that much sweeter and that much better. And when I say sweeter, not candy sweet, just like gourmand sweet if you will so favorite combination which is the fragrance which is the combination i'm wearing today and i got this combination from cardi b thank you cardi pistachio yo i'm probably the last person to put these two together <laughs> but honey child i smell delectable today and She's lasted longer, when I say longer, because of this particular fragrance with her. The combination is beautiful. Also, if you want like vanilla on vanilla, throw her with Burberry Goddess. Oh, so Burberry Goddess is a vanilla-based fragrance. It's got three different notes of vanilla in it, if I can remember. And so if you just want even more vanilla, like this is not enough for me. I need more vanilla. Vanilla 28 from Huda Beauty gives it to me every time. And this is one of those fragrance combinations that I love to wear going into the cooler months because it just makes me feel warm. It smells really good. And it smells very like gourmandy. Like it makes me want to eat myself. <laughs> These two are so, so good together. Okay, coming in at number five, Velvet Santal. I have gone through her and the only reason why I haven't used it more is because I didn't know if we were going to get a restock until literally today. This is October 1st and the wedding collection finally restocked. I already heard that it's pretty much sold out. If I can find it anywhere, um, either on the Huda website or the or Sephora, I'll have the links down below. She is sensual, very much unisex, leaning a bit more masculine and this was the fragrance that Mona's husband wore on their wedding day. And at first I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get it. You know, if he wore it, I'm not a lot of times into like more masculine scents. But honey, I was like, at the same time, if Mona wears it, then I can wear it. So let me go ahead and get a small size so I'm not disappointed. And I am really wondering if it's not sold out yet, if I should get the larger size. I did purchase another of the small sizes of this. This smells like velvet in the best possible way. It is very sensual. It's definitely an evening scent for me because it is like more strong. It has a great projection, like a couple of spritz of this and I will smell like this all day. It will be in my clothes. Like this is so, so good. Now, I personally like to mix it with Silk Santal 
because honey, they were made for each other, so why not? It, mixing the two helps this scent become a little less masculine and it amps up this scent from being a little less feminine. So like they are literally a match made in heaven. And then if you want the masculinity to be even more aggressive, but in the best possible way, so not that you're walking around um, smelling too masculine, but like you are literally smelling like power. Why so Libre? Thank me later. Just thank me later. The lavender in Libra mixed with the velvet and Kayali. Go ahead and mix them together. Everybody's gonna turn their head and go, who just walked in? And what are you wearing? Because you are, the snack, you're, you're not gonna smell like a snack in the sense of like sweet and like delectable. You're gonna smell like power. You're gonna smell like money. And you're gonna smell like, I need to know who that person is. And you might even still smell edible after that because you smell so good. Mix these two. Thank me later. So definitely number five for me. And like I said, the only reason why I have not used this up was because I didn't want to run out because I didn't know we were getting a restock. Now that I know we've got a restock and I at least have one more on the way, I will be using her even more. Coming in at number four. <laughs> Yum, pistachio. This is literally the marshmallow fragrance that we all know and love. And it just smells so, so good. Very much a summer fragrance to me. This is very much a daytime fragrance for me. But what I love about this one is that it's also sweet enough to be worn in the evening. So when I wear this one, like I mentioned before, I really like mixing it with Vanilla 28 to give it a little bit more of like a sensual scent to it because by itself, it smells fun, it smells airy, it smells very much like almost playful too with its sweet with its sweetness. Um, so I like to pair this with fragrances that have a bit more like sensuality to just make the sweetness in this particular fragrance stand out even more. So Vanilla 28 is a really good one to mix it with. I also like to mix it with this fragrance here. Bella Aura is the name of the brand. So this fragrance was created by the influencer Fumi Monet and it's called Exalté and Honey. <laughs> Y'all like my rhyming skills? I really enjoy mixing these two. So you get sweetness from pistachio. This one gives us more like floral fragrance notes to it and they really do pair nicely together. Now this one I don't have the full size of, but I need to get the full size of it because I have gone through many samples and I know I'm gonna like it. But by Rado's Sundays, that's another one of those kind of like marshmallowy types of fragrances and these two together, literally one big ray of sunshine on a happy cloud. Of marshmallows that's what they smell like together to me so I really enjoy this one I don't wear it as much as I could don't ask me why but when I wear it I love it like definitely obviously in the top four of the fragrances that I have so I really enjoy this one I think this is also one of those fragrances that if someone loves sweet fragrances, they could blind buy this and enjoy it. So really, really enjoy this one. Now to the top three. Okay, Kayali Sparkling Lychee. Let me tell you something. When I smelled this one the first time, I was like, give her to me. I need five of them. I could not stop wearing this fragrance and I've used a lot of this. Now granted, that may not seem like a lot to you, but it's a lot to me because I have over a hundred fragrances. And so I very rarely go through a fragrance in two years. <laughs> I wear fragrances like clothes. A lot of times I don't like to just wear the same fragrance every day. But when I first got this one, I could not stop using her. And she is literally the burst of sunshine and fresh juicy fruit that I need in my life. So I haven't been reading off the notes, um, but the key notes in this one, cause I just remember you might want to know the notes. We've got black currant, sparkling lychee, rose damascenia, candied violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. 
Oh my gosh. So my favorite combination, pistachio, sparkling lychee. Literally match made in heaven. Then I also love Eden Juicy Apple Sparkling Lychee. Like I mentioned before, I bought this one because I think Mona was the one that was like, these two are sisters, you should wear them together. They smell really beautiful together. And also, Vanilla 28. Cannot go wrong with these two. The Vanilla 28 gives it more of like a warmer sweet to this particular fragrance since this one is more fruity. It's so good and this is also one of, this is in my top three because this is one that I actually enjoy wearing by itself. Like a lot of times when I'm wearing this too, especially the environment that I'm going in, a lot of times I just wanna smell her by herself. I don't wanna mix her with anything. Um, and that's one of my biggest indicators that I enjoy a fragrance completely for itself because I don't wanna mix her. Cause I love mixing my fragrances and so if I have a fragrance that I, a lot of times I'm like, I don't want to mix you, you're definitely in like favorites categories for me. This one I also think is going to be a safe blind buy for someone who enjoys a fruity floral fragrance, and especially if they like, a, like when I say fruity florals, if they like it to be a little more sweet, I think you would really, really enjoy this one. And she lasts on me all day long. Like I get a good amount of power, lasting power in her, and I can smell her in my clothes the next day. So I like that when I can smell my fragrance in my clothes because I just like to smell my fragrance and I want the projection to be great. I kind of want to smother you in the best possible way with my fragrance. That's how I like my fragrances. <laughs> okay, top two. When I first smelled this, I was like, ooh, I don't think I like her because she's too sweet. And it is Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar, okay? So I, based on the notes, I was like, you might be too sweet for me. And that's why I got the travel size. And look how much I've used of her. This one definitely came out springtime. I will definitely need to get me a full size of this because I traveled all summer with this fragrance from I think I got this one around April, May, and she went everywhere with me every time I went out of town. And that's why she looks like this. And it was so funny because after like, I don't know, the 10th time wearing this, I was like, I guess I like it, but I don't like it. Here's the thing, by herself, she's too sweet for me. Like even just now smelling it, I'm like, ooh, you're like in my throat sweet but she is a mixer if I ain't never seen a mixer before. I actually mix this fragrance with way more fragrances than I mix Vanilla 28 with. And that says a lot because for her to be so sweet, she's also very uh, amicable. Is that the correct word? Like she really just goes with anything. So I have four other fragrances, one, two, three, yes. Yes, four other fragrances that I mix with this one and I love her with every combination. So number one, I wore her the most with Forever Moods. You remind me, first of all, can we just, I know we're not talking about Forever Moods, but can we take a look at this? And the dent that I put in this fragrance, this also came out this year. I have used this, this is my most used fragrance ever, ever, because I never run through fragrances. I just told you all that and look at her anyway. It's not about forever mood. These two together, the floral freshness of this fragrance mixes so well with the sweetness in this fragrance. And like, it is the most beautiful, sweet, fresh floral that I love to wear this spring and summer. Absolutely loved it. Okay, then if I wanted something really sensual and like quite unique, Give me Creed Carmina and Rock Candy. Honey, Creed Carmina by herself is just a like, I don't know what you're wearing, but I know I haven't really smelled that on anyone else. She's very unique. She's got some oud in her. I think she has oud in her. And to the naked nose or to the regular nose, she might be a bit too powerful for you. So mixing her with Rock Candy like tones her down takes the edge off of her, 
beautiful combination. Then if you want another beautiful daytime scent, Creed, Aqua Fiorentina. This is literally me in a bottle. Signature scent is me, right? But mixing these two together. Okay, so the Creed Aqua Fiorentina is a most beautiful fresh floral, more floral than fresh, um, but a fresh floral nonetheless. So kind of the same description that I had with Forever Mood. You add a little bit of sweetness to it and like the sweetness of rock candy helps to accentuate the floralness in this fragrance here. And like, I just smelled like money and sweetness all in one with these two together. And then lastly, um, oh, 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 Libra. Cause Libra is another one that like low key, I mix her with any and everything and love her, but I also love her by herself. And these two together, once again, sweetness coming from rock candy and it helps to like kind of tone down the floral hues in Libra um, makes this fragrance a bit more feminine because of the sweetness in rock candy. So she is like literal bae, but I really love her mixed with other fragrances. Hence why I have all of these recommendations or pairings with this one. By herself, I mean, I have worn her by herself, but it's not my favorite by myself. Okay, saving the best for last. My favorite hair tuck. <laughs> My favorite Kayali fragrance is nonetheless Silk Centile. Let me tell you something. When I smelled this, I said, if this fragrance would have been around on my wedding day, I would have worn this on my wedding. She is so, she's everything. She's literally everything. So I said, this was me in a bottle, like daytime wear. This is me in a bottle, like daytime, evening, rainy day, any type of day. I want to smell pretty. Like this fragrance is one of my most prettiest fragrances that I own. Okay, quick notes. We've got white sparkling champagne, white freesia, pink praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood, and then sugared musk. Oh, when I smell her, she just makes me smile. And like I said, I feel like the most prettiest woman on the planet when I wear this fragrance. And it's like the perfect combination of floral and freshness, but it doesn't smell like, what do I wanna say? She smells, I smell like a woman when I wear this fragrance. So I don't smell like a little girl. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for like a young teen cause like you have not gone through enough things to wear this fragrance. She makes me smell pretty. She makes me smell very feminine, which I love. Like I love a fragrance that does that for me, but she also can be mixed with other fragrances because she can stand alone, but she also pairs nicely with others. So my favorite combination with this one is Exalté from Bella Aura, um, Fumi Monet's fragrance. These two were like my combination of last year. This is a newer bottle because I broke my other bottle, but like, the when I because this came out last year with this one. Um, I think I had gotten down to like here with this fragrance. I wore these all the time. And then when I realized that we at the time were not getting a restock, that's when I stopped using this one because I was like, if I have to keep this forever, I'm literally only wearing her for special occasions. <laughs> so I ordered me a one, this is what 50 milliliters. Yes, I ordered a full size today and a travel size because I love, love, love this fragrance. And I probably should have ordered another one because if I could freely wear this fragrance, I would have ran through this last year and then, you know, probably already have been on my second bottle looking like this. She is so stunning. What's another? Oh, another combination that I wore a lot last year, especially when I wanted this to smell like even more fresh. I loved mixing it with this Clean Reserve Skin Reserve Blend. Oh, these two together are so good. Like, so, so good. Um, this one is definitely one of the, these like fresher scents. This one, I would definitely describe it more so as a skin scent, hence the name, skin. Um, so this particular fragrance, 
meshes really well with the skin like i really like enjoying this like fresh out of the shower but it doesn't last too long by itself so i get more of this scent when i mix it with the silk santal and this freshness adds to like the sweet floralness of this particular fragrance and it's just a beautiful combination so yeah guys that is my ranking of my kayali fragrances let me know how you feel about these fragrances down below and let me know if you have these if you would rank them in the same order or tell me let's do this tell me your top two or three fragrances from the brand and based on the fragrances that i have which kayali fragrance do you think i should buy next because i know there are more to be bought and i like i said i'm gonna own them all it's just a matter of time so let me know all your thoughts down below and if you've made it to this point in the video and you haven't yet to subscribe to my channel i would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the glam girl squad because we love to have you and guys that is it Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.